So this question starts off by giving us an equation here, uh, x squared plus 20x plus y squared plus 16y equals negative 20. And the question goes on to say the equation above defines a circle. All right, so before I even continue reading, there is a specific equation for a circle that you will need to memorize. So I'm going to just write that down here. Equation of circle, that is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So obviously, right, the format of this equation versus what we know the circle equation to be is not the same. So there's going to be some simplification here. Um, so I'll just say simplify is a strategy we're going to need to use. Um, so let's continue to read the question. So the equation above defines a circle in the xy plane. What are the coordinates of the center of the circle? Okay, so really the game here is how do you convert x squared plus 20x plus y squared plus 16y equals 20 into something that looks like x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, knowing that uh, the center is equal to h comma k. So the way we do that is um, through factoring. We're going to factor this. And it's a, it's a, uh, a, a process called completing the square. So not a whole lot of strategy on this one, much more knowledge-based question. So if you don't know how to do this, hopefully this will serve to help remind you, help review completing the square process, or actually maybe even help you learn this for the very first time. So the first thing I'm going to deal with is my x's. So I have x squared plus 20x. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have plus, put a space here, and then deal my y's. So I have plus y squared plus 16y plus space, and then equals 20 plus I'll say space. So completing the square just means I need to find what number can I add here that makes this x portion a complete square. So the way I do that is I take half of the middle term, so 20 divided by 2, which is equal to 10, and then I square that number. 10 squared is equal to 100, and that's what goes here. Do the same thing on this side with the y's. So again, 16 divided by 2, so half the middle term, which is equal to 8, and then square that number, which is equal to 64, and that goes here. So when I factor, all that's going to happen is I have parentheses, and I have my variable, which is x, and then I'm going to have really half of the middle term, which is 10, inside parentheses and squared. And you can test this out by FOIL to see that this is equivalent to x squared plus 20x plus 100. Same thing with the y's. I'm going to have y and then plus half my middle term, which is 8. Close those parentheses up and squared. And again, you can test that out to see that it is equivalent to y squared plus 16y plus 64. And then I have my equals 20. Now the space here is because technically I've just added two numbers, two quantities, to the left-hand side that were not originally there. So I have to balance those out by adding the same quantity to the right side, which is 164, right? It's the 100 here plus the 64 from there, so 164. So then really what I have here on the right-hand side isn't 20 any longer. It's actually 164. So just to give us some space and give us some clarity as to what we have here, just get rid of all of this. So we have x plus 10 squared plus y plus 8 squared equals 164. And remember, we're comparing this to x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And what we're trying to find is h and k because that's our center. And the question asks for the center of the circle. So x minus h, so how do I get from an x minus h to an x plus 10? That means that h must equal negative 10. So think about that. 
right? If I were to rep if I were to put negative 10 in here, it would turn into x plus 10. How do I get from a y minus k to a y plus 8? That would mean that k must equal negative 8. Again, if I plug negative 8 into k, that's how it would get to y plus 8. So my center is negative 10 comma negative 8. Again, because my center is h comma k. So my answer is choice B.